welcome back to my channel. Um, today I thought I would do another collection video. Um, and this one that I'm going to do um, is really, really, it's one of my favourite ones that I've wanted to do. It's one that I've been the most excited about doing. Um, because a lot of you know how much I obviously love Makeup Revolution and I heart makeup and I absolutely adore the blush and hearts and the highlighters, etc. So I wanted to share with you um, the collection the whole collection. I think I've got one missing and that is one of the bronzers. But I have most, apart from that one, I have all of them. Um, somebody said on one of my videos the other day um, that is about how many highlighters I have that I have a problem and I do, I do. I'm a highlighter addict. Um, I'm a revaholic, I'm a makeup addict but Oh, just oh. Anyway, so I thought I would share these with you because there are so many. There are two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen in total to show. So go grab yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and a bag of popcorn because you're going to need it. You're going to be here a long, long time. So let's get down to the video. Um, I'm going to swatch these where I can, um, and. You know, I don't, I don't want to spend too long on each one because otherwise it's going to be like a huge video. Um, so basically the packaging, okay, I do have still all the original boxes that they come in um, because I am just nuts. They do store better and I'll show you why all of these come in a box and they are all in a shape of a heart. Now, trying to store 15 shapes of these is quite difficult. Obviously, in a box, they are better. So, okay, this one is Love Hot Summer, in the Summer of Love Ones. And this is a solid bronzer, and this has, like, a gold vein that runs through it, um, which you can't really see very well because it's been used so much. Um, but I do love this bronzer. It is just absolutely beautiful. Um, so there it is swatched on my finger. Just try to see. Actually, you can just see. I don't know if you can see here in right near the edge, there is a gold veining. So I'll just swatch that for you. So as you can see, absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, wonderful, 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 a warm bronzer. So it's. Um, it's not too orange, but it does warm your face up quite a lot. So, absolutely gorgeous. Then the next one I have um, is Hot Summer of Love. So this one is Love Hot Summer. This one is Hot Summer of Love. Um, and again, same concept in the gold box, heart shaped. The difference is it's got the three different colours running through it. And as you can see, I have used this bit down here to mer merge all the colours together. But I will just individually swatch the colours for you. That's what they look like individually. And then all together, they look like this. So let's just start this. In. Did you just hear my shoulder crack? I think a lot of it, right, and this is the one with them all together. A lot of these are so pigmented you could use these as eyeshadows. So yeah. Um now majority of these are four ninety nine. Some of the speciality ones are five pounds. I don't know why they're an extra penny. I have no idea. There's no point in asking me, because I don't know. Um so the next one I'm gonna go on to, I'm gonna do the golden goddess. Um the goddess of love highlighters because there's three of the god goddess um goddess of love. One is the Goddess of Love, and then we also have Goddess of Faith and Golden Goddess. I will show you Goddess of Love first. These, again, all come in the white box with the electric pink metallic look. Um, same, again, on the boxes. And these are a solid highlighter. And these are some of the most beautiful highlighters I have ever seen. I mean, whew, just like, whew, just amazing. So that is that colour there. It's got, a, oh look, this is from my last video I've done. 
so as you can see beautiful that would really look lovely on your cheek um, this has a sort of like a pinky tone that runs through it so I'll just show that to you up close so yeah it's got a, a real pink sort of tone that runs through it it's very very pretty then we have Goddess of Faith um, and this one is more of a peachy peachy sort of colour champagne colour as you would so again you can see it's been used rather a lot I'll just give her a swatch she's just absolutely beautiful and then on the skin so yeah this is definitely more of a pink tone this is more of a peachy champagne tone and again just absolutely delightful it's one of my favourites um, and it is one of my favourite ever highlighters it's just absolutely gorgeous and then we also have Golden Goddess um, and you've probably guessed it and it's got a golden hue about it well you, you'd have to you'd have to wouldn't you basically I mean you can't have a golden goddess and then have it blue could you god there would be a riot there would be a riot <laughs> no it wouldn't um so yeah this is also very I mean it's very very beautiful slightly more powdery than the other two as you can see a bit more chalky but on the skin absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful so those are your bronzers and highlighters so I will just get it off <laughs> um, so next we'll go on to the blushes um, the majority of the boxes of these are pink because they have like a, a pink current that runs through them um, so we'll start off we have Candy Queen of Hearts this is actually my favourite blusher. Oh, I've just ripped my box. Um, this is just beautiful. And that is what I would call a blusher because they are... I don't think they're highlights. They are blushes, if you see what I mean. Those are the three colours swatched together. So, very, very, very pretty. Very, very pigmented. So you've got three individual colours there that look gorgeous, but of course you can swirl your brush around in them. Let me um, just use a very small brush. And it all floated away. That's not that's a highlighter brush, so that's not really the best. I'm going to have to use a finger. I'm going to have to get in there with my finger give it a good old mix around so that's what it looks like all mixed together which I think is beautiful so you have theoretically four different colours there that you can use so absolutely gorgeous you have to be careful because sometimes they do pop out you don't want your heart suddenly popping out do you um, so yeah that was the Candy Queen of Hearts and I wear, I do wear that a lot. It's like, yeah, it is, it is lovely, lovely. It's lovely, Chuck. And then I can't get the heart back in the bloody box. Sorry, my husband is actually dying in the other room. Um, he's cough, 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 cough. So I do apologise if you can hear that on the video. But you can't help but poor love. He's all sick today. Do you know what? This is not a bloody Chinese puzzle, this is. I can't get this back in the box. Ten years later. Oh, do you know what? I'll sort that out afterwards. Now, this one is Bursting With Love. Um, which, again, very, very pretty box. <laughs> um, and then inside, it's very, very pretty, pretty as well. So, this is... Um, like a highlighter um, heart but you could use as a blush topper so those are those three colours swatched together you 
Look at that, that one on the end, absolutely beautiful highlighter. So let's just give them a swirl all together. Whoa, pretty. So you could use this as a blusher. This is a blusher and then highlighter and also a highlighter as well. Very, very pretty. So again, that's what they look like. I wonder if I can get this one in the box. Yes, it went straight in first time. Oh, don't you love it when it just goes straight in without knocking the sides. Um, this one is Blushing Heart. Now, this one, when I was trying to get Bursting of Love, Bursting with Love, um, I think I picked this up three times and three times I had to take it back and get a refund and they hadn't got the burst and th three times and you would have thought by now that I would have known that I've already got that one I've already got that one my friend Deanna who works in Superdrug in Norwich she was like oh, really <laughs> um, so this again is really really pretty this strong pink colour down here has a, um, like a glittery fleck that runs through but again another heart that I really love and this has got like a lot of mauvey colour to it as well so let's just give these a swatch see if I've got enough room I should have enough room my arm's big enough oh wrong finger couldn't feel it <laughs> can't feel it if you use your little finger so those are the three colours swatched out of the heart and then if you just swirl your finger around this is the colour that you get, which is a beautiful rose cold colour, which again, lovely blush colour. I mean, look at that. That is just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So, yeah, that one is Blushing Heart. Let's give this old a wipe. I'll show you that I'm giving this a wipe because I'm not doing anything rude when I'm saying I'm getting it off. <laughs> I'm not doing anything rude. Um, and then we have the peachy key pink. No. It's not. I will get it out. <laughs> That's what he said. Um, the peachy keen heart. Another one that I absolutely love. Um, again, in a pink box. And this is beautiful because you've got these gold bronzy colours with this like it's it's a I don't know how to describe this pink. It's almost like a rose gold. This pink in the middle, um, a muted rose gold. It is just really really pretty. So let's just swatch them individually. So again, all very very pretty in their own right as colours. Whoa, how gorgeous is that? How gorgeous is that? And then we'll just give that a good old rub. Give it a good old rub, see if I can get get, get off the right colour. A rose gold. So, yeah, I mean, to be fair, the colour mixed with all three, there's not a lot of difference between, although there is, but on camera there don't look a lot of difference between this one and this one. But I just think they are... I just think it's lovely. It's lovely. So that's it with the pinks. And now we've got the orangey peach. So we've got peachy pink kisses. Um, again in the peach box. That's what it looks like on the inside. And this is to me is definitely, definitely a highlighter. Um, I mean it's so glistening, it's unbelievable. So Again, those are the three colours swatched on their own. Absolutely stunning. They're stunning. Look at these. See what I mean? Really, really lovely highlight, especially if you're dark skinned. And then swirled all around very very pretty again very subtle differences between them but I think they're lovely I think they're lovely and also I don't know if you can see I don't think you can really see in the sunlight the 
the real proper glisten. I'll just see if I can bring that up to the light. I want to show you the light. I'm bringing my heart to the light. It's just extremely pretty. Extremely pretty. And then the last one out of those are iced hearts. And again, a peach, a, a paler colour packaging. And this one, this one's very, very similar. But this one, for some unknown reason, this one reminds me of Neapolitan ice cream. I don't know if it's because it's the, like the chocolate, the raspberry, and then the vanilla. I don't honestly know. But... Ooh. And a bit of squeak and again I think a highlighter rather than a blush we've got some room on there kiddo so yeah I mean you could get away with that as a bronzer that as a blush that as a highlighter you could get away with all of those as being highlighters and then if we mix them all up together, again we have this like rose gold colour, which is just so pretty. That is just so pretty. So, yeah, that's those ones swatched. So next take this off my arm next we have the um oddball ones um which are different and you'll probably already guessed which ones these are um these are the ones that are just they go well with the range the heart range but they are just different and i'll show you what we mean first of all we have the unicorn heart um which I love the holographic, I love the hollow, I just love this, I think this is fantastic. And then inside you have the rainbow, so again, very, very pretty. I mean, I will swatch them all individually um, because I think they make great eyeshadows individually. So those are the colours individually. Um, I mean, I think they make great pops of colour, and they also, if you wanted a different highlighter, like an out there highlighter, I think they are beautiful. And then one on the end, the pink, which is a shame they didn't, didn't make more of the pink. Because the pink is very, very small on the end. Nobody likes it small on the end. So giving it a good old rub, mixing it all together. And what I love the fact is you can give it a blow afterwards and it go back to normal. <laughs> Sorry, I just died. I just died of laughter. Oh. <laughs> And when <laughs> so mixed all together, this is what that looks like. So it's a nice icy blue colour. <laughs> so yeah, very very pretty, very very out there, very very different. <sighs> so let's just give that rub to get that off. <sighs> so it goes back to normal. In your endos, eat your heart out. So the next one um, is the mermaid's heart. Um, again, very, very different. I love the packaging on this. The packaging is just completely and utterly sublime. I love the mermaid scale, like the fish scales. I think it's great. I think the, the thought that's gone into the packaging of this is absolutely amazing. And then we have the heart inside. And when I first looked at that, I was like, oh my God, there is no way on this earth I am going to wear that. How the heck am I going to wear that? Um, but it does look really, really lovely because, you, again, you can use these individual colours for your eyes or if you, again, wanted that out there look where you want to be completely different, 
you have different highlighters to use or different eye colours. I, mean, I love that green, that green is just gorgeous and the blue is like a duo, duo a duo chrome and then you've got this gorgeous sort of gold colour and then also to add in with the mix you've got this real sort of purpley colour on the end and again you don't get much of it on the end I'm not going to say anything so there's that beautiful purple colour which I just think is gorgeous I just think that makes a beautiful beautiful eye colour and then again Rubbing it all in together, giving it a good old rub together. Comes up like this. And that's the colour that you get, which is a beautiful highlight colour. I mean, I will be honest and say I don't really don't really go to either of these. Um but I like them because I like to look at them because they're pretty. <sighs> this one hasn't gone off to gone back to normal after I've given it a blow. It's so about a rubber to finish it off. I'm just not even gonna go there. Next one, Dragon's Heart. Oh my god. This was like went viral um, because this is just like just totally different. Nobody had ever seen anything like this before. Um, again, the, the packaging just just perfect. And then obviously the beautiful colours inside, which I do use a lot because I use these colours sometimes as a blush, these as a highlighter, but they also make great eyeshadows. I mean, this beautiful red in the corner, if I can give it a good rub and get it up. Look at that. Just gorgeous just I mean like you know on the eyes really stand out then there's these beautiful highlighter colours which are, are gorgeous too so I mean look at the pigment on that I mean you imagine that on your eyes just beautiful and then highlight as well absolutely gorgeous and then I'll just give the gold up as well and put the, pop the gold in so, yeah, absolutely beautiful. I do use that a lot on my eyes because I do like a lot of warm colours colours on my eyes. And then, again, if you give it all a good old swirl and rub together, put your brush all the way around, you get this rose goldy colour. Like that. Now, that is just worth it as far as I'm concerned. I mean, this does get more use than any of the other unusual hearts. This is just perfect <coughs> getting high on mica huh so that is yeah beautiful um, and then the last one is the newest one that they've brought out which has only been out a couple of weeks which has been brought out especially for Valentine's Day I believe um, but this is the bleeding heart and I have done a video review on this it's not an off the wall color at all but I want to save it to last because it is the newest one I just the goddamn packaging alone is gorgeous um, and just beautiful I mean it's just absolutely gorgeous that looks like a piece of artwork I mean look so look at my hand. My hand is glistening at the moment from all these highlighters. So inside, oh, to die for, to die for. Um, it's got this gold veining that runs through it and I just think, you know, it's so pretty. So pretty. So on my finger, that's what it looks like. And then swatched. beautiful and then I'll go in where there is a gold vein again slightly different just beautiful and although it doesn't look particularly very shiny on my arm oh my goodness when I actually put it on it was like glowing from here to like the moon and back it was just 
yeah it's absolutely beautiful i really 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 dig this dig this that's a weird thing to say anyway i really love it so there you go my well my long video that i thought was gonna be a really long video wasn't as long as what i thought it would be and i managed to swatch every single one um yeah so i will do a close-up so that you can have a look at all of them individually and i will do that now um yeah so gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i love them they are just beautiful as i say there is one bronzer that i don't have um but what's a bronzer between friends so yeah my massive collection of hearts i heart makeup i bloody well do still got this out look how am i going to get this back in the box Anybody give me a clue here? Just doesn't want to go back in. Doesn't want to go back in. It's always lived in there. Do you want to move house? I think it's telling me it wants me to move house. It wants to move house. I have no idea. No idea whatsoever. Of how I'm going to get that back in that box. It's ridiculous. It's almost like the heart has got... got Aha! It's it. Well, it's not really, but it's in. It's in as much as it's going to be in. It's a bit bulging, but there you go. Anyway, thank you so much for staying with me. Oh! Thank you so much for staying with me if you have stayed through to the end. I'm completely and utterly covered in sparkles now. All up my arms. I might as well take advantage of it and give, give myself a rub down. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Don't forget, we still have the giveaway that I haven't drawn yet. Because it's drawn on the 31st of March. And if we get up to... 50, well, if we get 1500 subscribers I'm going to get one of these and put one of these into it as well so yeah and then if I get up to 2000 subscribers I will then pick out another product for you or perhaps you can tell me what product you think would be good anyway hit that subscribe button hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video and take care for now bye